Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, let's go over T-Rex Minor. T-Rex Minor, they are hitting it out of the park. They are putting out test releases, beta releases, to go after these LHR cards, to unlock these LHR, and get you some more of that mega hash. More of that mega hash, baby. That's what it's all about. So I've been testing 025.10, 025.11 is out now. And uh, I've gotten great results with the 3080 Ti's. I'm up to 93 mega hash on those from 88, 89. So that's a good thing. On my other rigs, I had 3060 Ti, 3070 Ti. I was having trouble with that rig. I just couldn't get them to dial in. It was almost like it was in a loop, a LHR tuning loop. It just couldn't stabilize. And I uh, had trouble with that. And I punted and went back to the old version, 25.9, just because I didn't want to lose any computing power. Went back to the T-Rex Discord, learned some more stuff, came back, and the way I got around that was I basically went into Device Manager, and let's go show you that. You go over here, Device Manager in your Windows. I don't use Hive OS, I use Windows. Uh, sorry about that. And I go Display Adapters, and there's my cards, and I just say, Uninstall Device. And I say, Yes, Remove Files. So I do that. And then I go back to the um, NVIDIA download page. Bear with me. Here we go. And I go over here to the NVIDIA download page. Blammo. And I find my, my uh, NVIDIA drivers. And I download the latest one. And as of this video, it is going to be version 512.15. If you don't like these numbers because the decimals are all screwed up, when Windows presents it, you can go over to the Tech Power Up app, which is GPU-Z. You got to get this, guys. It's a good tool. Go download it. It's free. And you can look at your cards. It shows your GPUs right here. And you can pick the one you want to look at right from the pull down. And it shows you the version. I am running NVIDIA 512.15. So that verifies your version. So that's the latest as of this video. All right, let's close this puppy out. Uh, let's see, get rid of that. We don't need that. So I am running right now. These are my results. I got a 3060 Ti as GPU zero. It's running 49 on ETH hash, 49 mega hash. Power is about 134. Then we got a 3070 Ti. And that's uh, about 63, sometimes 62, 63, bounces between the two. I get sometimes the hot mem temps, you see 102 right there, but it drops back down. That's the problem with those 3070 Ti's, man. They run hot on the memory. And I replace the thermal paste. I replace the thermal pads. I blew out the dust bunnies, wiped it down with alcohol. Ah, it still burns hot. I don't know, man. I even tried changing the overclock settings. No joy. So there's a... There, it is what it is. Just live with it. I don't know what to do. I should never have bought that card. But knowing T-Rex is out there making it more uh, performance, giving more performance out of these LHR cards, is kind of taking the pain away from buying these things, these LHR cards. So like, like you see here, 63. On a 3070 Ti, when I was previously getting 57, 58, that ain't, that ain't nothing to sneeze at. So I'm pleased to get that. Uh, let's see, the bottom card is another 3060 Ti gigabyte. Uh, not getting much out, not getting much more out of that than 47 at the max. Uh, normally it gets 43. Oh, look at that. Normally it gets 43 mega hash running 025.9 version of T Rex. So any improvement is good improvement. The power is up a little bit. So it's just not a great card because. You can see I'm getting more power usage from that thing. It's drawing more power. It's like here it dropped down. I don't know if that's, oh, it's, it's retuning. Okay. GPU 2 is uh, retuning. It's unlocking again and it's going to, yeah, it's going to tune it. You'll see that now and then. It's finding the best, but it'll stabilize. And they say it takes 10 to 15 minutes to get these uh, locked in and stable. So 49 is good. 63 is great. Again, a lot better than what I was getting. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain at all. This is great. Uh, I want to see that. Yeah, it's retuning on on GPU too. So you're seeing it real time. That's what happens. 
And by the, by the time they put a release out, they may have some of the little the quirks ironed out in the beta release. So looking good right now. Hey, and one other thing that is out there I wanted to make a note of, I had no idea this existed, is with T-Rex Miner, it comes with a built-in web monitoring and control page. And here's the link for it. Right up here, you should just cut and paste that, or not cut and paste, we'll type that in, you can get the web UE. It's really cool because it comes with it. I had no idea. So it's kind of a nice little useful tool, and here's what it looks like. There you go. You can see basically this is converted to a Windows UE interface, which is great for monitoring, get a nice little graph. People love visuals, I love visuals. Gives your hash rate, your algorithm, uptime, all that stuff quickly looked at. A nice little web UE for you guys. Check it out, I think it's really cool. And if you click on the hamburger menu, you get your rigs. So there is your rig, your, your all your GPUs in that rig. You click over here, you can show your nodes so you can have all your miners on here. So what I'm going to do next is set this up so I can have one workstation that I can go to and see all my T-Rex miners. And if you click on the sprocket, you get all your settings, you get your pull settings. It basically takes your bat file and puts it into a web UE format. Your overclock settings, stuff like that. Your raw config file, you can look at your log file, just say get. That is pretty awesome if you want to see what's been going on. Check the trends, like here's my 46s, 47, 48, 63, and you can see what it's doing over time. So that is pretty awesome. Things are looking good. Love the TRX miner, one of my favorite miners I use. I use it in Windows. I do not use Hive OS. So your overclocks are different if you're running Windows versus Hive OS. You've got to be careful and aware of that. Don't use Hive OS settings on your Windows. Yeah, so there you go. Looking good, man. Getting more mega hash. So most people I know about this are getting more mega hash and driving up the difficult rating on ETH hash right now. But eh, but it is what it is. Get the maxima, get the maximum performance out of these cards before um, Ethereum POS takes effect, proof of stake. But uh, a follow up on that is they said it is not happening in June, but they don't say when it's happening. So it is delayed. So that's I guess good and bad news. We will see what happens. Keep mining. Keep getting the most out of your cards. Keep asking questions. How do I get more performance out of my cards? How do I burn less watts? Stuff like that. You got to just ask. People will help. It's a great community. Everyone is here to help everybody. So thanks to T-Rex Miner, guys. Keep up the great work on the devs. You devs, keep it up. Good job. Uh, that is all I got. All right. Thanks for watching. That's all I want to give you an update on the T-Rex Miner. It's uh, working pretty good. So that's all I got. Little update. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later. All right.